thanks for joining us today. What's your assignment? To make a diorama. To make a diorama. A box with stuff in it. What is it do you want in your diorama? Two big volcanoes. The first thing you need some chicken wire. You need to cut it basically into a circle. Cut to the middle. Oh, oh, and you have to fold it like a cone. Yeah, that's it. So oh. I've got to grab the middle and twist it around the middle, I think. So. Like, like that. that? Like that. Yeah! So she's sort of wide at the base. She starts going higher, so maybe I have to snip here a bit. Right. To try and get this to fold this around like that. You see that? Yeah. How's that looking? Comparing that to that. Okay. Okay, so that's the basic shape of the girl. Yeah? Let's wow. get the basic shape of the boy. He's got a really wide base. So let's get a very big hole up the top. Fold him around there like this. Hey, hey. <laughs> now that we've got the wire mesh, the next job tomorrow will be to Make some paper mache and paper mache the mm -hmm. okay. I like the move it, move it. Get a bit of heat happening. Some water. I and not. some corn flour. Uh, that what you make to make the goo. Yeah. Mm. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Nice and bluggy. I'll hold it. I'll hold it with you. Put it in the grey tray to cool down a bit. Ah, there we go. Thin strips like this. I'll rip this up. Cover the paper with the glue. Oh, Is that cool. really, really boiling hot? Nah. You Is wanna put yours boiling? on your volcano? Yeah. Strip it like this. Yeah. And around. Yeah. Hey! Someone went on. Can you pull my slow on? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, he put it in his mouth. He actually put that on his tongue. Don't do that. <laughs> Sam like is crazy. Yeah. You put it like round? Not sure. Yeah, yeah, like that. Thank you very much. I'll hold this in those. Ah. Hey, put paint in the box. I made two, Daddy. I made two. Thank you. Here you go. Bitch, go see today. Just has to be. Uh, hey, get off! That's better. Mine is so nearly done. Okay, so there's the first coating. So we've finished the paper mache, and Mickey's painted them white, and now we're going to paint the paint the colours on them. Okay, now that the painting's done, it's time to put. The, the hair on the gel volcano. And so we've got some wool, which I've painted. That's green. No, it's actually wool. It's green. No, it's actually wool. That we've painted brown. Actually, that looks blue. Get some PVA glue. PVA Just some glue. Craft, craft glue. Glue where we want the hair to go. Yo, yo, hee hoo. All right, dark. Up the top, that's it. And then bend it around. That's it. And we'll cut to length, maybe about this long. Okay, Mickey and I have now finished painting the volcanoes and we've put the hair on the girl. And I reckon she looks pretty good. And we've got the boy volcano. So now what you need is a box. I've used the cover off an old microwave, but you could use a cardboard box, or a wooden box, or a phone box, any sort of box that doesn't let the light in. And you have to cut a little hole here, that's gonna be your viewing window. And then the hardest thing of all is to get a piece of glass. This is the glass that does the magic. It's called the Pepper's Ghost Effect. It will reflect the image of the girl volcano onto the surface of the glass, so that when the light's on, you see her reflection in the glass. And it just goes in at a 45 degree angle. Like that. Sits in there nicely. And you can see the glass sitting in there like so. 
I'm gonna put the boy volcano in that corner. The girl volcano will go in this corner. You need to put a roof on with some torches so that when you shine the light, the magic happens. Okay, come on in. There's the boy volcano. And if we turn on the other light, there's the girl volcano. So light from the torch hits the girl, this reflects off her and into the glass, which then reflects the light into your eyes, making her appear. Okay, to make the boy volcano a little bit better, I've put a fan in here and some red cellophane. Cellophane will dance when the fan gets turned on. And also, I've put some little LED lights so that they'll glow red. Finished. Give him some fire. Make the blow some air through the fire to make it look like it's um, erupting. Turn on the light to make the girl volcano appear. And then the other light to make the boy volcano appear. Instead of using torches, I've set it up with two large LED floodlights that run off a 12 volt battery. Thanks for joining us. And uh, go and make your own little diorama. That's how we make science fun. <laughs>